Overview of Closing Journals Budget Year in the Carry Forward Closing Journal means Year in the Closing Process Welcome to my channel I will talk about these two topics in this video Let's start As you know that many organizations follow specific procedures to generate special journal entries to close and open physical years, to close the current year and open the new physical year. Optionally, you can run one or both of these closing processes to create one of two types of closing journals that move forward year end and other closing period in the balances. It's not a required, it's option. It's up to you and your business and your organization, either to run it or not. First one is create income statement closing journals. It will post all the income statement account balances to one or more retained earning accounts as REA. As you know, the income statement equation revenue minus expenses equal net net income by default the system automatically once you open the first period of the next physical year system will knock off or will make the net between expenses and the uh, revenues and the boot the net to the income as ownership equity or whatever as a retained account entry or retained earning account which you already assigned to the ledger. There is one field, all of us know that, there, there is one field for REA, you, it's must and it's required during implement the budget, else optionally you can run this process. The next process for the balance sheet closing journals, it also boasts all assets, liability, equity balances to one or more closing accounts. The equation is assets equal liabilities plus stakeholders equity. Also it's optionally that you can create it from schedule processes to run a new process, one for income statement, one for balance sheet. Both process automatically create a separate closing or retained earning account for each balancing segment value, either primary, second, and third balancing segment. As you know that now in Vision, not like in e-business, we have three, up to three balancing segments, primary, second, and third. Now automatically, if you enable two or three, it will automatically create a separate for each of these balancing segments. If you're using secondary or reporting currency, you must define a journal conversion rule to prevent replication of your end year end closing journals from your primary ledger. Replication can cause unbalanced journal entries if different currencies and conversion rate are used in the ledgers. Instead, you can run this process of closing journal processes separately in your reporting or secondary ledger to ensure that the balances are reduced to, to zero. Let's start by how closing journal for balance sheet counts are created. As you know that use the create balance sheet closing journal process to meet audit requirement, the process will create a journal entry that close the balances for the select balance sheet accounts to zero. The process will be generate journals that reverse the debit and the credit of the ending year to date, actual balances for the selected account and period or year that you have selected to close. All of the amount of these accounts will be zero after you run this process. Transfer the balance which is the net of the reversed asset liability and the equity to the closing account that you specify. You can specify a closing account, a specific closing account to transfer 
the net of assets on the liability and the equity to that account. You must run it in an open period. Recommended period is the last period of the physical year being closed, which should be an adjusting period. During the find the calendar of the ledger, you must consider one or two or three or quarterly, whatever adjusting periods. So it's recommended by Oracle to run this process in this adjusting period. If you have more than one adjusting period or adjustment period, it's better to run it in the last adjusting period in your calendar. Adjusting period are recommended to avoid large balance fluctuations in your standard accounting periods. Adjusting for adjusting previous or from January until December for your uh, daily process, daily transactions, journals, blah, blah, blah. Before running the process, you have to set up last day of your physical year as adjusting period. As you know, also during the find the calendar, you will put one line in the after December. It will be 31st of December and you mention it is like adjusting or adjustment period. So first you have to set up this period adjusting, set up the first day of the next physical year as an adjusting period also. Ensure that the adjusting period or adjustment period is open, complete and post all adjustment entries related to the period or year you are closing. Print your general ledger, trial balance, uh, end of month reports, end of year, all of reports which is related to closing the period. After running the create balance sheet closing process in the last day of the physical year, adjusting period, you can open the first period of the next year by running open period process. It's recommended also to run open period process or you just go to select a ledger and select the period and open the period. Reverse and post the balance sheet closing journal to repopulate the balance sheet account. The journal that closes the balance sheet account has the following attributes. Close only actual balance type. There is no budget, encumbrance, uh, funds. It's only for actual balance type. Use the last day of the period that you select in parameter as the effective date of the closing entries. We will see it later during uh, run this process if we run it. So the last day of the period that you will select in the parameters as the effective, effective date of the closing entries. For example, 31 December, whatever. Create a separate closing account by primary balance segment. If multiple balance segments are used, it creates a closing account by the combination of primary, second, and third segments. Accept the application's default setting of the journal reversal in the period after the period in which the closing journal was generated. Optionally, manually change the reversal method. As you know, there are two of reversal method, change sign, switch debit to credit. Close the total ledger currency balances for each balance sheet account, including converted amount to the ledger currency from foreign currency journal. The resulting of this balancing sheet closing journal is only in the ledger currency of the ledger. Again, there are four C's to implement your ledger. One of them is currency, so the balance sheet will be in this currency. To make adjustment after posting the balance sheet closing journals, you will do what? For the normal journals, you have to reverse the original journals and the post to reverse or post this reversal. Then make your adjustment again, run this process again rerun closing journal process to capture the additional adjustments. Moreover, once this journal is created, 
you can see that and it's still unboosted as you know the delete option for only journals which is still unboosting or unboosted delete option may be not enabled for you to delete so you have to check the journal sources setup manage journal source select closing journals and the freeze the status journals to be known like this this is the report that the report here as you see here what is the data access set what is the ledgers what is the accounting period account filter you can specific a lot of some accounts for this balance sheet assets liability owner equity blah 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 closing account in which account you will close or net these accounts you have to put it here and the category it's already balance sheet close the category for the income statement will be income statement close this is a standard process from tools schedule process you have to create balance sheet closing journals or create income statement closing journals as I told you that there is one in manage journal sources there is one closing journal for these closing journals if you now run this option optionally you run these journals for balance sheet and the journal is created and is still in unboosted and you need to delete it so the source of this journal will be closing journal so if the delete option is not enabled you have to go to manage journal source search by closing journals freeze journals make it no no means that delete option will be enabled for you to delete to delete these journals and again either rerun it from scratch or let the system do it automatically once you open the next first period of your new physical year the others or the second request here closing journal for income statement account again using create income statement closing to meet audit requirements the process create a journals that shows revenue and expense account balance moved to REA retained earning account the process generate journal to close out the year to date actual balances of all the selected income and expenses Create audit trial showing how the amount of the closing or retained account is calculated can be run in any open period. Open period. Close year to date balances of the selected income statement accounts. Optionally, use an income offset account. There is one offset account. You can use it, which results in individual income statement account balances remaining in their accounts. The process box inverse balance of the closing retaining earning count to the offset account. So there is one option to select an offset account instead of retained earning account during run this process. Again, it's optionally it's not required because by default the system by the end of each year and open next physical year it's make a net between revenue and expenses and about this net amount or balance is moved to retained earning account if you run process for the first period of a physical year it closes only that period balances so the best period or the best practice is to run it where in the last period of your physical year to create an auditable journal entry Again, you have to run it in the last period of your physical year, not the first period of your physical year or of, you, of your new physical year. Before running the process, again, you have to set up last day. You have to set up first day, you know, last day in the current and the first day of the new physical year. Ensure that the adjusting period is open complete and post all adjustment related to the period or year you are closing print again trial balance all of reports which is related end of month end of year blah 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 after running the create income statement closing you can open the next physical year by running again open period process 
if you run the process at the end of the physical year, don't reverse the journal. The act of opening the physical year would have achieved the same effect as the journal entry by moving what income statement account balances to the retained earning account. In the middle of the physical years, you can reverse the journal after you run the reports that shows the closed out income statement balances. The journal reversal reinstates your year to date income statement balance for the next period. The process close only again only actual balances. You cannot close budget or encumbrance balances. As you see here, again create income statement closing journals. The other one is create balance sheet closing journals, which the tax set, ledger or ledger sets, account period, closing account, income offset. We, we said that we can put here income offset account instead of our retained earning account. Else, as you see here, it's optional. It will be moved the net balances between expenses and revenue to the retained earning account. And here by default the category income statement close the other category is balance sheet close also from tools manage schedules run or sell schedule new process and put this in the process this is the income statement and the balance sheets which is cover all of our Accounts type in our chart of accounts assets, liability, revenue, expenses, owner, ship, equity. Now let's move to budget here and carry forward. In some cases, you have budget, encumbrance, or you set up only encumbrance accounting, you set up only budgetary control, some purchase order still open, some receipts or requisition still open, partially received, partially invoiced, all of these cases we will talk about here in this part. The encumbrance year end the carry forward process, there is also one process for encumbrance year end, it's just for only encumbrance balances. You have to consider these implementation decisions before start to carry forward your budget balances or encumbrance balances. If you are implementing budgetary control only without implementing encumbrance accounting, don't use encumbrance year in the carry forward process because, because again it's only applicable to encumbrance. What if you are implementing encumbrance accounting only? not implementing budgetary control then you consider to run this process encumbrance year in the carry forward process if you have the requirement to carry forward commitment and or obligation encumbrance amounts if you are implementing both budgetary control and encumbrance account you want to carry forward balances in both budgetary control module and the general ledger Please consider these implementation decisions I think this is duplicated There are the many steps to determine how to process surplus funds and open transactions. You have to determine accounts and the transactions that should be or should be or should not be carry forward. Determine if surplus fund is to carry forward. Run carry forward processes. Review. There is one option during run this process as a review to review the carry forward or the impacts and the process encumbrance balances only applicable if you are using encumbrance accounting 
Decide whether you want to create a new control budget for the physical year or simply extend the end date of the existing control budget to include the new physical year. Now, if you are already implementing budgetary control and the next year either you extend the current or you want to create a new one. You can choose based on the value decision point. Define a new control budget if these conditions are satisfied. In which cases I need to create a new budget or a control budget for the new physical year. First of all, the control budget attributes that is budget manager, control level, sub elemental rules, etc. are changing from one physical year to the next. What else? Security access to the old budget is changing compared to new budget. What else? You want a clear view of whether old budget is impacted or new budget is impacted by transactions. In some cases I need which budget is impacted by the transactions, the previous budget or the current budget. In this case you have to define a new control budget. You want to see each year as distinct and separate with a clean cutoff. Year by year. This year with this budget, with these transactions, uh, with these journals, blah blah blah. I closed a new year with a new transaction, with new budget control, new journals, new access, new security, blah blah blah. In which cases you select to extend the end date of the current control budget if these conditions are satisfied. First, control attributes, again budget manager, control level, supplemental rules stay the same. There is no changing from these physical years to the next physical year. Or security access stays the same. You perform a lot of analysis across physical year, smart view, financial reporting, blah blah blah, when data resides in the same control budgets because the user only need to change the time dimension to view data across the years. This is for reporting purposes that user only need to change the dimensions to view the data, so only need to change the time dimensions, so you have to extend or keep the current control budget as it is with extending the end date so this is the differences between I'm going to create a new budget control or I will extend the current one because depending on that your budget year and carry forward scenarios will be changed Accounts and transactions that should not be carry forward. Requisitions. Commitment balances are not carry forward automatically. Any open requisition should be cancelled or converted to purchase order. Again, commitment, commitment balances. Commitment balances means requisitions which is still not converted to BO, Barsh's order. It will not carry forward automatically. So in this case, any open requisitions, you have to cancel or convert it to a Barsh's order. Below are the suggested actions on requisition based on their status. As you see here, the status, commitment, balance, actions. If you have requisition header as approved status, yes, until there is an associated BO and the BO is approved, approve the requisition is if it's associated with the purchase order. Otherwise, you have to cancel, withdraw, or return. What about the requisition is cancelled? There is no action needed. If the requisition is incomplete, incomplete no 
so created but not submitted for some cases user just starting to create a requisition but not completed so either approve or submit and create a bo or a delete a complete means you have two options either complete the cycles or delete it what's the pending approval submitted but not approved right still in process of the approval so either approve submit and create a bo or withdraw once you withdraw it will be again come to incomplete again to approve submit and create or delete or whatever or cancel what about rejected returned withdrawn and none for the cancelled or rejected or returned or withdrawn there is no actions needed for the approved you have to at least convert it to bo for the pending approval you have to submit or withdraw again and incomplete either complete or again delete for the purchase orders purchase orders that are cancelled closed closed for invoicing closed for receiving or finally closed can it still hold an obligation balances if the quantity delivered is greater or less than the quantity billed depending how the receipt is accurate there are suggested actions on bo the same like purchase requisitions bo either period in the accrual or accrual at end period or accrual at receipt again if the bo status cancelled invoice the quantity that has been delivered but not yet invoiced if it's closed no additional invoices or receiving are expected if the quantity delivered exceeds the quantity built cancel remaining quantity order but not built or delivered closed for invoicing no additional invoices are also expected cancel remaining quantity closed for receiving no additional receiving is expected invoices are needed for the quantity that has been delivered but not invoiced so for the cancelled the application balance yes when the quantity delivered more than quantity built for the closed again application balance yes quantity more than quantity built or quantity built less than quantity ordered for the closed for invoicing quantity delivered more than quantity built or quantity built less than quantity ordered and so for closed for receiving finally close no further receiving invoicing or bo adjustment can be made any received quantity that doesn't have an invoice must be returned in case of the status of bo incomplete you have to complete and approve or delete or ensure the budget date is in the next year like uh, carry forward the balance or the encumbrance of this bo to the next year by changing the date on hold remove hold open can be carry forward bending approval either approve or cancel like the same of purchase requisition bending acknowledgement you have to cancel bo cancel the requisition or obtain supplier approval reject it or withdrawn if created from requisition ensure that the requisition has been fulfilled by another bo or cancel the requisition it's, it depends on the status of the bo or requisition if it's finally closed you have to do one if it's incomplete you have to, to do to do two if it's on hold you have to do like this blah 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 this is like a cleanup actions on purchase orders to decide the carry forward plan for cumbrance and budget for acquisition and the purchase order i just before tell you thank you that i can got into applications go to majority control Jetty control <coughs> just click here 
and you will find budget buried status manage encumbers carry forward rules carry forward fund available carry forward purchase order budgeting control balances if we talk about carry forward fund available it's like also request again to carry forward surplus fund to the next budget year as a budget amount use the automated carry forward fund this is automated balance process from the budget control as we selected now this process will import as a budget amount the fund available balance from a source control budget period to a target control budget period for example if the source and the target the source and the target budget now we have sourced budget for the current physical year like here here is the target and here is the source and we have a target right can be the same if they are different different in where in the this criteria that budget chart of account must be the same for both source and the target interval for the target control budget calendar must be the same or greater than the source control budget what does it mean that if the source control budget has quarters as a period interval then the, the target control budget can only have period with intervals equal to or greater than quarters the target control budget cannot have monthly periods as you see here the our parameters that first of all is from control budget carry forward surplus fund available from this control budget from budget period carries forward surplus funds available from this budget period of the control budget which balances year to date period to date target control budget that surplus funds available are carried forward to this control budget and period also surplus funds available are carried forward to this budget period for classify target budget as it will be initial or budget version determine whether the surplus fund available carried forward to the target control budget are classified as initial budget or budget adjustment initial means initial revision means adjusting or budget adjustment here budget account filter surplus fund available are carried forward to the budget account that match the filter condition selected you can select some of count filter here so this surplus fund available are carried forward to this account this is the first one of carry forward funds available control budget period of this control budget which balance target bu budget and period and it will be considered in the target or in the new budgetary control of the physical year as initial or revision or ad ad adjusting budget let me cancel the first one is carry forward purchase order budgetary control balances as you see here you have to list the ledger the control budget that user has privilege to view optionally run the process for it which bo charge filter here that you can run the process for a group of purchase order shipments by filtering charge count segment values finally close through budget date carry forward all of the open purchase order shipments with a budget date up to this date if you select 31st of December so it will carry forward 
all open purchase order shipments with budget until this date are you going to reopen which are open budget date move the purchase order shipments that are carry forward to this new budget date I will take it from this date to the this date the run review or run mood you can review preview show the anticipated results without carry forward the purchase orders what about final will be carry forward the purchase orders but again you maybe need to see as the review preview first as a draft to check that everything is matching with your requirement then you can come again and run, rerun the process with a final mode this is I hope now to give you an overview of this process maybe by the end of this year we can run these processes together but I just need in this video to tell you what is a process how to check what is the schedule processes in Oracle to run it and again all of this is optionally some of organizations do what by the end of the year they run some reports to cover washes order requisitions journals balance sheet income statements and to highlight the ending balances make it manually to adding these balances to the new budget of the new physical years and let the system make the balance sheet and the income statements some other organizations run this process to get not a clear picture but a picture like 80 percent clear picture to check what is the retaining accounting for this balance segment for this company blah 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 what is the balance sheet if need i need to carry forward the purchase requisition purchase orders what is the total amount will be there like this as a preview mode then either again rerun it in a final mode or final picture or ignore and again collect this data from reports and make it manually thanks for watching